exciting about some of these new housing numbers and whether or not it's time now to go out and finally buy a home or wait a little bit and see if the market has bottomed out. Of course, the latest housing numbers are out and they show that sales of new homes jumped up almost 10 percent. So what does that mean for the housing market? Joining us now is the host of HGTV's My House is Worth What? and chairman of Kendra Todd Group, Kendra Todd herself. Good morning to you, Kendra. Good morning. Nice to see you. So the real question, are we at the bottom of this market yet? Should people be rushing out to buy a home? I think now is a really great time to go out and, and buy a home. And really, these numbers that we're seeing, they're positive over the short term, but they are creating artificial increases in sales volumes because they're fueled mainly by this $8,000 tax credit. So the majority of the traffic we're seeing in the, in the new sales centers for homes is driven by first-time home buyers. We have to keep in mind, though, that this tax incentive is going to expire on November 30th, and after that, we're going to start to see some declines again in the market, and we're not going to actually see stabilization and recovery until we get some job growth, and if the government decides whether or not they're going to actually extend the incentive. Right. So uh, some would hope that this is sort of a U-curve and we flattened out and we're on the way back up. You suggest otherwise that there's a big crash on the way. When and why? Well, there's not a big crash on the way. I mean, a lot of economists think that we're going to be in a V-shaped recovery or an L-shaped recovery. When it comes to new homes, I think it's more of what's a W-shaped recovery. We're starting to see uh, this trend of an in increase in sales prices, but after November, it's going to drop again, but not, not too much more. I, I really want to shed some positive light here. I think that come next summer, 2010, we'll start to be on the long road to recovery, oh. so I want to encourage people to get out there and get homes while they're still affordable. Yeah, and you know, just to have real boots on the ground, my father is a real estate agent in Reading, Pennsylvania, and he, for the first time in a while, he's seeing an uptick in people with interest coming out and trying to buy homes, and there is some, uh, it, they're all a flutter right now within the real estate offices there on whether or not this tax credit is going to be extended, because they are hearing rumors, and I'm not sure where the rumors are coming from, and I don't know what you're hearing, that this thing may go above $8,000 if Congress extends it, maybe even as high as $15,000. What are you hearing about that. I've heard the exact same thing, but it is just that, a rumor. We won't know anything uh, for a little while. But I think it's important to keep in mind that even if they do, uh, you know, increase this incentive, what they're doing is they're banking on future buyers. They're pulling buyers forward into the market today, and it, that's what's creating this artificial inflation in the values and in the prices. So we just need to keep that in mind that this party will end one day. We can't stall the drop for too long. It's going to have to hit its bottom on its own and then make that recovery naturally. All right, Kendra Todd, real estate expert and host of HGTV's My House is Worth What. Thanks so much for joining us this morning, Kendra. Thanks, Kendra. Thank you.